do so much position work, you lift, you run, you meet with the guys, you do all these small things, and you just continuously do them throughout the whole summer. Uh, and then you finally get to put on some pads and actually play some football, and it's it's re- it's relieving, honestly. And it's just also you're just you're getting closer and closer to the season. So it's just that one benchmark, you know. We we put it up into segments. You know, we had winter workouts, and we had spring ball. We had break. We have summer workouts. We have now camp, and then we're heading into full full t- boogie into the season. You know, it's going to be great. You know, when you first moved from defensive line to offensive line, that was a tough transition. It was, you definitely. You never played offensive line before. Maybe you played a little bit in Denmark. But you played some before. tight end my sophomore yeah, you year, yeah. You were blocking guys so. like you see in the SEC. Nah. How tough was that first season? And now you're making a lot of all conference, preseason all conference teams. So yeah. You guys have been a great transition. It, it has, honestly. It's it's been now it's positive, uh, but it's it was tough initially, honestly. Uh, I think something I talked to the team to as well is that I was very ignorant in thinking that I knew how to fix everything. Uh, I thought that I had the whole O line thing worked out. That you know what, if I'm making a mistake, I know how to fix it myself, and I I needed to figure out and learn that how much veteran experience can help you out. Uh, and that's really what's changed, I believe, the past couple of years. You know, and it, it kind of it was after the Bama game my sophomore year, and I talked to my father about it, and he really got into me and said, you know what, you got to be able and willing to listen. you got to be li- able to listen to Frank, listen to Skip, listen to your coaches. And I opened up my mind more, and I started playing more freely. And I've had some few experiences where it, the moment just got a little bit too big for me and I needed to lean on some guys. And I think that's one thing that many young guys in this prideful and very macho sport is that you're kind of afraid to seem weak. And seeming weak might be that you ask for help or that you don't know what to do. So many guys might just go out there, oh, yeah, I know what to do, and then they don't know. Uh, and I think I've, I've got past that bump and I'm not afraid to say, hey, I messed up what can I do better? Or, hey, look at what I'm doing here. How does my post footwork look here? Or how does my drag foot look? How does my hands look? Where's my placement? Where's my eyes? All that. Um, And it's if I've just become more comfortable with the game that way. How much better do you think you are now going into this fall camp than you were the first spring when they moved you to offense? I think a lot more comfortable (laughs) playing football. The game has definitely slowed down, even though we sped it up a little bit this spring. But uh, it's, it's... I'm excited. I'm excited heading into this last season. How do you think the offense, particularly the offensive line, are doing with this hurry up stuff? Because I know after the spring game, the coaches said we're getting better, but we're still not where we need to be in terms of. Yeah, it takes it takes a while. You know, it, the good old same Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, it's going to take a while to get really into this uh, offense. It may it may be further into the season before we really really start clicking and. Or, of course, hopefully we're working to get it done right before season, but that's just the reality of it. You know, it took some time for me to become an offensive lineman. It doesn't just happen overnight. It's going to take time. It's going to take hard work, and I know our guys are willing to put in the hard work. You know, you don't get the name of starting quarterback, and I wouldn't expect you to express a preference, but just how do you feel about the quarterback situation? Because that's one of the real big question marks on teams. Who's going to be the starter? Yeah, I, I know how to block guys. I don't know how to throw footballs. Yeah. If I throw too hard, I'll throw up my shoulder, and it's <laughs> painful. So in the end, you know, I'll, I'll trust Coach Morris in whatever he say. I'll trust whatever he puts behind me, I'll, I'll block my life away for him. I'll, I, I trust them both, the two guys that's in competition right now. And I, I firmly believe that whoever's going to be back there is going to give us success. Yeah, do you feel good that you got two good guys? And it's, just going to be it's only going to make those two better. You know, if we had one guy and he was comfortable in the lead, you know, it's not going to push him. That's how it is on the line, too. We have guys pushing each other, and it's going to make them better. Those two guys, in the end, whoever gets to start or wherever it's going to happen with those two, they're going to become much better quarterbacks from it. A lot of guys have dropped away. I don't know that you need to drop away or anything. Have you done anything to change your body? And, and what, what is maybe an update on some of those? I'm an athlete, so I, don't know. I, I didn't need to do anything. I, uh, I'm, I'm a f- <laughs> well, yeah. I think I think it's just making people more. Um, what is it called? More aware of their body composition. Uh, it's not all about dropping weight. It's what we want is lean mass. You know, if you're if you're 330 pounds and you have three percent body fat. This is not going to happen. But if you're that, well, you're going to be straight muscle, right? That's what we want. We want guys to lose fat. We want them to gain lean mass. It's 
it's damn near impossible to do both at the same time. So therefore, you want to lose weight and some fat by cutting out cu- cu- cutting out calories in your in your diet, and then therefore afterwards, eat lean, work out, and maybe increase the calorie and take a little bit to gain some muscle mass back. So I think we've just been really aware of making sure that we don't just lose a bunch of weight, but we lose good weight and we also gain good weight. Is that just a different philosophy in the past? Or you more uh, I think, no, it's never, you know, all the, co- the Coach Herb before also preached it and stuff, but we've done a really good effort of trying to. Um, we do, everyone's doing bot pods. Everyone's doing body composition. Everyone's really getting a visual and uh, an image on paper. Like you're getting some numbers. And if your numbers are better than before, well, then you're doing a good job. If your numbers aren't better than before, well, then something needs to change. And I think that's good for guys because they realize, hey, my body fat may have increased, but why is that? Well, that's because I'm eating burgers and fried chicken. Uh, but, oh, my body fat decreased. Why is that? Because I eat grilled chicken and spinach. So it's pretty simple. Uh, I try to challenge some of the guys. You know, hey, today, we're going on a 21-day challenge. You have X amount of cheap meals a week, one or two, and you can't eat carbs here and there or whatever. And, you know, it's just if you get into a competition with someone, if I've made a deal with you saying I'm going to eat better, well, then you're going you're gonna to start thinking about it more. If you're alone about it and you're just sitting there, yeah, you sure? I'll, I'll eat better eventually and all that. It's, it's, if you have an accountability partner, then it's going to be so much better. What do you want your senior year to be? It's all said and done. What do you want this year? About? Yeah, about. What do you want your senior year to be about? You, for the team? Championship. That's it. Got to aim high. I understand medias want to say they picked us last, and I don't blame you guys. We went 4-8. and eight. We got a new head coach. We got a complete coaching change. And, it's of, of course, people would rank us as being lower. But we, and I think everyone says it's the same thing as I'm going to say right now, but no one knows what happens behind the curtains. All you're evaluating us on is previous year. So much has changed since then. And, I've, I, and I think it's, it's only going to be to the positive. If you're aiming for anything less than a championship, you're only selling yourself short. And all it's going to do is just going to be, okay, well, if, I'm not, if I don't have a championship mentality, well, if, okay, I have, I have a bowl mentality. Let's win six games. Let's have a decent season. Well, then my preparation is going to be to win a bowl. If my preparation is to win a championship, we're going to win a championship. Dre had a good quote. He said, you know, last year, again, last year being last year, he talked about how, you know, it was more of, uh, it wasn't that, you know, you guys had a lack of talent. It was more of a lack of finish in some of those games. How do you take that response from him going into this year and convince people that we have the makeup to win at least six, maybe beyond that? I think we have a bunch of good senior leaders on the team. Just the two guys that's here with me today, we have Dre and Santos. I think it's just those veteran guys actually knowing what it takes to win. We've won before. We know how to win. We know what it takes. And I think being able to translate that to the younger guys and making them buy into it, making sure that I would rather give up all like my individual accolades for a championship, for the team. If you're willing to give up for your team and look over your own ego, that's only going to show positive results. Have you seen all these lists that have you on the top offensive line in the country? I know it's easy to sort of wipe that away and say that this team is important, but I mean, like you were playing defense a couple of years ago. Yeah, you know, it's, um, I'm thankful for everyone that, want, that that has nominated me for these, and I'm on these teams, but at the same time, I can't get too caught up into it. If I'm too worried about what someone else thinks, well, then I'm going to I'm gonna play to what they believe me to be. I need to focus every single day and work hard every single day in order to just be the best me. Because if I be the best me, well, then it's that's the oh, that's the only thing I can do. I can't be all world or whatever people may want me to be or what they predict me to be or whatever. I can be the best. Yellow for a hole. That's all I need to do.